So guys, although I am a big advocate of creating and not consuming, I am a big fan of YouTube. You know, I love watching YouTube. I love exploring YouTube, you know, finding new channels to watch. And I actually don't watch any television other than the football. You know, I actually only watch, um, you know, YouTube. I'm subscribed to a few people on YouTube that I watch uh, regularly. And I don't really watch like Netflix or just your regular telly, anything like that. And I came across this video the other day that was called and titled, um, you know, how to think like a CEO and the tips and strategies that the guy explained no idea who it was it was just a recommended video and um, the tips and strategies explained were like get up at 5 30 a.m um you know work at least so many hours a day um you know it was obviously you know a few good little tips and i understood the the concept of it but i wasn't entirely on the same wavelength as that person i don't think that the the message that he was trying to spread is as relevant um as you know back when he was probably just starting out so i thought you know what let's um you know flip it around a bit let's do a video on you know how millennials would run a business or you know how i as the owner of a social media marketing agency a modern agency you know with a remote team how i think and how i work and you know the tips and tricks that i've learned on my way to make it more manageable and to make my business more of a success so without further ado the first most important thing that i think um people need to you know apply or you know get into is a community so surround yourself with the right people you know because being an entrepreneur or entrepreneurship in general can be quite lonely, especially if you know there's no one else around you that's doing the same thing as you. You know, if I do not surround myself with these people that I've, I've um, you know met, um, you know through the internet or through a community, like entrepreneur groups and stuff like that, then you know there's no one in my direct you know surroundings in terms of you know where I live that is doing the same thing as me. And when you feel that you're the only person that is doing what you're doing, it can be very lonely. There's no one to bounce ideas off. If you're demotivated, there's no one to get you back on track. But there's also no one to give you those little golden nuggets to, to you know to make you go further or make you scale the business and stuff like that. And you know, the way I've got it now is I'm in constant contact with people from all over the world that are doing the same thing as what I'm doing. You know, they're into social media marketing, they're into personal brands, they're doing coaching. You know, they've, they've basically, they've been raised by the internet. You know, the ins and outs of how to earn money online. And it's great to just bounce ideas off them, you know, seeing what everyone else is doing, seeing the progress that they're making and applying, um, you know, the, the tips and tricks that they're using onto your own business as well. So, you know, it's motivating. It makes you go further, but it also makes you realize that you know you are not alone there's not just you doing this you know there's there's so many other people trying to achieve the same things as you speaking of surrounding yourself with people you know especially when starting out everyone is under this impression that you need to work 24 7 you need to grind you need to hustle and all that stuff and although i do think there is a time and place for that i think the best thing that you can do is you know start building a team from day one so the first year of me trying to um you know dive into social media marketing you know i done the content creation myself i done the meetings myself i done the outreach myself um you know i done the sales part myself i done the results myself and i was working you know maybe 18 hour days and although i first what i did i i, lo I was loved what i was doing i enjoyed it i learned so much it was a great experience but you know i i had two clients and that was it you know i could not take on another client because there wasn't enough time in my day to manage a client and give each individual client the attention that it deserves and it was only once i started working with my business partner bradley that i understood the whole concept of you know, building a team and getting people to do the work for you and when you just start out you might feel like you know it's not right or you, you feel like you're just outsourcing or that that person cannot do the same job as you but guys there's people out there that can do a better job than you and it's all you need to do is find those people so like the people that or like our team members that do like run the facebook ads for our clients they're much better at it than i am and there's also people on our team that are great at graphics and again are much better than i am so you know it's it's all you need to do is find the right team members find people that fit in your team and that are okay being the number two. You know, for example, our ads guy does not want to do the outreach for clients. You know, he does not want to do the graphics for the clients. He doesn't want to do the copy for the clients. He is great at what he does and that is Facebook ads and he is more than happy 
you know, running the Facebook ads department for us and you know, letting us focus on uh, getting new clients in but also scaling the business. So tip number one was you know, surround yourself with like-minded people, build a community around yourself and then tip number two was build a team around yourself. So find performers that can perform the jobs that you, know, you need doing. So you know, rather than you actually working in the business, you are working on the business and then you've got team members that work in the business and do the day-to-day -day tasks. Okay, and then the third tip that I've got for you today is document everything, whether that is through a journal, whether that is through a to-do list, or whether that is just literally, you know, like, like this, you know, uh, with, with a camera in video form or on Instagram, anything like that, just make sure you document because while you're documenting, you're inspiring other people you're building up this you know authority position online and whether or not you want to become a personal brand or anything like that you know it's just great to have it documented because if something goes wrong you can look back and see at the decisions you've made and you know where you was at that point in time and see okay what could have i have done better to improve the situation or if you've actually done something right you can actually see how far you've come you know if there's a time that you're not as motivated as you should be you know you can look back at you know, video from like six months ago and you know even though from day to day it might feel like everything's the same and you're not really making progress if you look back at videos or photos or posts or you know back in your journal back to six months ago you can see the immense amount of progress you have made in that last like you know five six months okay so document as much as possible and even if you just create videos like this but don't upload it to youtube or don't upload it anywhere just keep it for yourself it is great to have and it builds up your communication skills it builds up your presentation skills and and like I said, you know, it's just amazing to look back at how far you've come, okay? And the, the fourth tip, I've already sort of mentioned it before, it ties in nicely with all the other tips, is work smart and hard at the same time. So especially when starting out, like I said, a lot of people are big advocates of hustling and grinding and stuff like that. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you've also got the people that say, you know, work smart, delegate everything, automate as much as possible. And I'm actually a fan of both. I think there's a time and place for both of those uh, both of those things and I think that when starting out you need to work hard to get everything up and running but you also need to work smart at the same time so look at every single thing that you are doing every single task every single process and think to yourself okay how can I make this as streamlined as possible you know can I you know get people to do it for me can I build a team to do this task or anything like that you know make sure that stuff is automated which we'll get to in a minute uh, which is actually the last tip but make sure it is as streamlined as possible possible okay and then for the last tip it is you know to figure out if you can automate certain you know aspects of the business and um, the way i like to look at certain tasks and processes is in three ways the first way is you know can i uh, automate this process so like i said in the fourth tip you know try and find ways to automate it whether it's through a service or whether you know you can get like for example zapier is great zapier is an amazing program where you can you know connect certain tasks to each other so you know if for example someone fills in our um, onboarding form you know as a new client we get a notification in slack which is a communication program we use and also like that so you can connect with zapier you can connect all kinds of um, you know programs and software uh, with zaps and you know that way you can just make life so much easier if you cannot automate that process or task then check if you can delegate it so if there's no software out there that can do it you know try and find a person that can do it like i said build a team get people to do the work for you you work on the business and not in the business so if you can't automate it delegate it and then lastly if you cannot automate it and you cannot delegate it then just think to yourself you know is this task or process really necessary so it, and if not then just eliminate that process altogether and that way your business will stay lean you know you'll have more time to think of new ideas and to scale the business and you know overall you'll have a much more successful and streamlined business and you'll notice that your business will be much more successful because of it okay guys so that is all i've got for today i hope you got some out of this like i said these are the tips and tricks and strategies that uh, when looking back you know i should have applied much quicker but you know you learn as you go along and you know if you are just starting out then definitely try and apply as many of these tips and tricks as possible if you need any help with um, you know like start on the business or social media marketing you know if you want to start an agency like me as well i do offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching it's an hour-long coaching through skype so no matter where you are in the world you know i can help you out all the links for that will be in the description box down below subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos of me like the video if you got something out of it and i'll see you guys in the next one